According to evidence published by the Department for Education on Wednesday, studies have provided mixed results on the effectiveness of face masks in schools. One of the studies found that in secondary schools that used face masks, the average COVID-19 absence rate fell from 5.3% on October the 1st to 3% by the third week of the month. In secondary schools that did not use face masks, the average COVID-19 absence rate fell from 5.3% to 3.6%. The Department for Education recommended that secondary schools should wear masks in classrooms when they returned after the Christmas break. The study result was quoted by the Education Secretary to show the effectiveness of face coverings. Uh, my department has also looked at some uh, observational data from a sample of 123 schools where face coverings had been in use in the autumn term and found that there was a greater reduction in COVID absence compared to those where students didn't wear face coverings. But the Department for Education's evidence review made it clear that there is a level of statistical uncertainty around the result and the greater reduction in absences could be down to chance. The review also says the study is non-peer reviewed. The Education Secretary acknowledged the impact on children's well-being. I have uh, commissioned uh, staff from my department to conduct further research uh, to better understand the negative impacts of face coverings on education, along with publishing the initial findings uh, on this today. But I have uh, to strike a balance, Madam Deputy Speaker, uh, between the vital need to keep schools open and reducing the spread of infection. The Department for Education survey in March last year found that 70% of pupils said face masks made them feel safe, but 80% said wearing them made it difficult to communicate, and 55% said they made learning more difficult. But Susan Hopkins, Chief Medical Advisor to the UK Health Security Agency, said, We support the Department for Education's decision to reintroduce the use of face masks in secondary schools temporarily, while COVID rates remain high. The study was carried out last term, so it does not include any data on Omicron. Joanne Robson, NTD News.